Hey everybody, it's Mike DeCesar here in Seoul and I'm going to show you a new tool we've been working on at Proof called Stokens. And essentially what it is, is it's a way for an individual or a company to issue their own blockchain based tokens like, you know, all the ICOs are kind of doing right now, but allow people to actually buy products with those tokens on an online store or even on an offline store. So this whole thing came about because uh, we're helping out with the World Blockchain Forum, which is coming up in September. And at this event, uh, people can actually buy their, their, their tickets to the conference using tokens that are specifically for the organizers. So the organizers are issuing tokens and then people can take those tokens and then purchase tickets and we're going to be facilitating that on this tool that I'm going to show you. I'm going to give an example using a furniture, how a furniture store would do it, or like any kind of just regular retailer might issue their tokens and then allow people to freely transfer them on the Ethereum blockchain between their them and their friends, as well as buy items and from 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 the store. And we think this whole new fluidity of value is what we're really focused on. Uh, as energy comes onto the uh, onto the blockchain, where people get their energy credits from giving you know energy back to the grid, and as people buy these other ICOs and other all these other cryptocurrencies, they're going to be moving these these things through decentralized exchanges, like we're introducing very soon after our ICO. And what, what's going to happen here is that we're going to as when you people are gonna really control their 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 points or their equities or their whatever it is, and we think consumer-based tokens for, for like brands or for for stores is actually quite interesting. So we hope you enjoy this little thing called Stokens. Stokens came about because uh, the name is Smart Contract Token, and also we're in Souls, which is Soul-based created token, and um, yeah. So hope you enjoy this video. All right, so we are at proofsuite.com slash stoken admin. I'm going to go ahead and sign up as a merchant and I'm going to be Mike at coreyferny.com for Korea Furniture. And we're gonna create some tokens our users can use to buy furniture using cryptocurrency that I'll create here. So I'll get my Ethereum address, I'll need to load that up and then I'll click on edit. I'll then type in a, a title, so Corey Fernie, funny name, we'll try another subtitle, Best Furniture, Best, Best Fernie in Korea, and you can click what kind of theme you want, so you can customize this, go dark, go light, I'll go light for this one, and then you can just put in a image uh, for your background, I'll just copy this image address and I'll paste it in here. Cool. So now I have a little logo up here and image over here. Um, and this is for, you know, when people want to buy my tokens. I'll then say something like buy tokens and then buy furniture at a discount. Um, additionally, you can add or remove Twitter or Facebook as you see over here. So I'll just put in a Twitter link and click save. So it's really that simple. Next, I'll go into my Shopify portal where I have uh, a few items that people can purchase um, in with regular fiat using credit cards today, but I'm going to make it so that uh, they can do so much more. So I'm going to go here to this antique carved drawer and I'm going to just copy some of the information over and click add product. So here's a product. I'm going to give it a description. And just copy the description from over here. Elegant antique mahogany. Paste that in. And I'll put an image. So I'll just grab an image 
from here. So I'll click view. This is what people will normally see in the store. I'll just copy the image address and I'll paste that over here. And then I'll say what the price in tokens is. I'm going to charge five tokens for this and I'm going to make tokens each one dollar in a second. So I can put a callback URL and essentially what this is is um, if you're a web developer you can get an email and an Ethereum address and other things so that you can process things on your back end whenever someone actually completes a purchase. I click save. I'll save that up and there it is. I have it here. You can create another product. Um, I'll make this chair. You don't have to be fancy for the demo and one dollar. All right, save. Cool. So I have a couple products. So now I have a little embed code here. I can take this embed code and I can drop it inside of the HTML. So I'll just go to the HTML here. I'll paste in that little code. And now when I click save, when someone comes and views this, they'll happen to see a little buy with tokens button. Um, it's a little three dimensional button. It can be a little playful. Um, and what they'll see is essentially that, well, I haven't put a smart contract up for this. So this is just for demo purposes. And they'll see all the information and they can buy it with the tokens. So it's really that simple, but let's keep going. Uh, let's actually get this thing live. So to get it live, all you have to do is create a token supply. So I'm gonna create 21 million tokens and I'm gonna make $1 per token. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna pre-allocate 10 million to me to just give out to friends and stuff for promotions. Um, am I sure? I am sure. And I'm going to now either need to send 0.3 ether here, or I'm going to need to uh, put in a promo code. So I'll put in, I have a promo code. If you want a promo code, send us an email. Um, if your project's really interesting, then we might give you a promo code uh, and eat the minor fees ourselves. It costs about seven to eight dollars to actually get these things up. Uh, if you do pay, then you have the right to complain. If you don't, then just don't complain. But we are, we love suggestions. Uh, but we do want to kind of make this better and better over time to really um, help people out. So I'll click use promo. If that promo is good, then it will deploy a smart contract. And there it is. I have a smart contract. Now, it probably won't show up immediately because uh, these things take time um, to, to get up there. But it's there. And now I can uh, either look at the smart contract code uh, or what if I just want to uh, if you refresh the page, you'll you'll see that uh, you actually have a link where people can come in and buy stuff. So um, it's getting the, the full token supply. Uh, it shows how many tokens um, are available. And right now it won't show much because uh, the, the contract is still deploying onto the blockchain. So let's just give it a second. And once it's all ready uh, and the contract is fully deployed, if you want to check the status of your contract, um, then you can just go to your contract address or you can go to that the address that was generated. So I can I see 100% of the tokens are available because it just got launched. And now I want to sign up. So I'm going to sign up as new person at gmail.com. So I just signed up. So I can see here that I have a balance of zero ether. I can deposit some Ethereum. Let's do that so we can go ahead and send some ether into the smart contract and get these tokens and then purchase stuff from the store. That's awesome. So let's copy the Ethereum address. I can then go over to my ether wallet, paste in the address. I'm going to send 0.1 uh, Ethereum over, click generate transaction, and then click send transaction and boom. I just sent one ether. Now this will take a second as well to confirm, but once this is confirmed, uh, I'll be able to then take a gander into the, the amount of ether I have as well as the rest of the platform. So really excited. Okay, that took about 36 seconds and now I'm confirmed. If I go back over here and I click refresh balance, I'll be able to see that I have 0.1 ether and now I can simply buy tokens. So I'm going to buy six tokens. That's going to come out to about this. Uh, the price is pegged to the dollar in the smart contract. 
So it's not always exact, exact, but it's pretty, pretty close. And yeah, I just made a purchase. If I want to check out that purchase, I can just go to my address and I can see that I just made a transaction to the smart contract and I called a method called purchase token, which will then convert my money in. Now you might see the $7 here. There are Ethereum transaction fees that the miners take. Um, so this is something to consider when you're doing this. All right, so now if I refresh the page, I'll see that I have my tokens and I have a lower Ethereum balance now. Cool, so now it's time to have some fun and I'm going to go in, I can actually send tokens to people. So you can click send and you can actually send uh, tokens to friends. So you can find a friend, you can send them a token or if you want, you can shop. And I can now see all this stuff. But hey, what if I'm just a regular user who happens to be on the furniture website and I'm just perusing, I happen to have these tokens. I'll click buy with tokens. I will log in. So here, I'll see my token balance and the price uh, in tokens, and I can just click buy now. And so there we go, my purchase was successful, and there we are, I can check out the transaction hash here, and uh, paste it into Etherscan, and I can see there, that uh, there were five tokens that were uh, that were that were just transferred. So very cool. Um, once this confirms, it'll actually show the, the token uh, transfer. So now the owner has my tokens, and I have the item. A very simple transaction. Additionally, I can buy more tokens if I want, and then I can go about transferring uh, those to other people. So that's a lot of fun. I can go over here to Etherscan and find a random person. And I can say, hey, you know what? I want to gift this person some of my tokens. So I'll send them one. So I can send these tokens and just click send. And transfer was successful. And I can see that transaction as well over here. So now I can see that I've transferred uh, from me to this person one token. But let's talk about what if I don't want to have an account. So I don't need uh, I don't I don't need to have an account to do all of this. So let me show you how that's done. And when I come here, I can actually say get mine, and I can say use the cold storage wallet. And when I do that, I can actually purchase the tokens. On the blockchain. I just follow these simple instructions. I send this method call using my Ether wallet, which is just purchase token. I put the appropriate gas limit and I send in Ethereum to this address. And it's just that easy. And in that way, I can buy the tokens, not have an account, and transfer it to other people. So that's a general overview of how tokens work. It's a work in progress and we'll keep improving it and we look forward to your feedback.